Okay. So, in three, two, one, stand up, Vanguard! So, today, guys, I'm bringing you my Nova Grappler Extreme Battler deck. So, let's start this off. First unit is Extreme Battler Rondo, simple skill, Forerunner, move it to the back row rear guard. When a unit in front of this stands, stand it. Fairly simple, just cause. So to start off, we are running four Meteor Kaiser Busters. Buster skill is, during your turn, counterblast one, choose a G unit, flip it face up. When the unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your rear guards for the no total number of busters standing in your G zone. Stand that rear guard. If two or more units were stood and you have five rear guards at the end of the battle, you get the skill counter blast one, choose two cards from hand, discard them. At the end of battle, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this. So essentially, you can even do this on first turn. You ride Buster, you flip Buster. Now your rear guards have already attacked, so you stand up one row, attack. Next turn, you now have two Busters in the G zone. Ride Buster, choose another G unit, like a G guard. Stand two units, stand Buster, and if, or you can just. Flip another Buster, stand three rears, and stand Buster. So Buster provides power to the deck and is used on a lot of big plays. Next, I'm running four copies of Medio Kaiser Buster, uh, Medio Kaiser Victor. Skill, I actually don't use this quite a bit in this deck, but I have it anyways. Is choose a card face down named Medio Kaiser Victor in your G zone, turn it face up until end of turn when this attack hits a Vanguard, choose a rear guard. Stand it, gets plus 5k in Generation Break 3. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, choose one of your regards, stand it, give it plus 5k. So, powerful card in the sense of if it hits, you can be giving a column an additional 10k on top of whatever drive check you reveal. So, again, I don't use it a lot, but I enjoy it. Next unit I'm running is Mew Kaiser Tribal. And three copies of Meteor Kaiser Vic 10. So these are some real basic units. Uh, Tribal, it's Counterblast 1. Uh, when a unit stands to an effect, you may pay the cost. If you do, give a plus 2,000 to end of turn. And your opponent's rigor, and you choose a opponent's rigor, and it loses power equal to the stand unit's power. So this works, again, really well in a lot of decks, because you can attack with your rear guard, stand it, counter blast, rat, uh, have a have a rear guard, lose power. Would be better, in my opinion, if it was Vanguard, but it happens. And last, uh, Victor 10, or Vic 10, when it attack hits, choose a rear guard, stand it, gets plus 5k. This is a replaceable unit, in my opinion, because Buster's stole a good first turn stride, so I plan on replacing it when I have the chance to with another unit but I don't have the money for that other said unit so it's okay to the G guards um, not the most opportune but I'm running four righteous superhuman blue prison uh, skill gets 5k when you when your damage is equal to or greater than your opponents so good G guard but not the greatest I, as I said earlier, this is the stand. Okay, so the, my grade 3 lineup currently right now looks like, and the susceptible change, I am running original SP Victor. Look at that SP. And a triple rare Victor. I don't run too many Victors because I tend to get him quite a bit in the deck. And the, the other grade 3s have a lot of openings. I also run two M, uh, Unvol of Righteous Crystal uh, Devil skill. Its main skill I use it for is its rear guard once per turn. Uh, after it attacks, you can stand it, give it plus 2k. Uh, counter blast one, soul blast one. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose, an, choose a rear guard 
and it gets. Oh, wait, sorry, you're on sale. Um. Yep. So sorry. Uh, you use this for rear guards. This is another like main grade three. You don't use him for restanding. I was thinking of the new Victor. Sorry. And then I run four Dan Sharks, just cause Dan Shark. It's another main grade three slash rear guard. Uh, it's rear guard rushes uh, when this unit stands due to an effect from a card. Until end of turn, this unit gets counter blast one. When this attack hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost if due. Choose an opponent's rear guard. And its attack lessens is less or equal to retire it than this unit. So, pretty good. And it also has counter blast, soul blast when it's placed on rear. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Search for one with the rush ability. Not bad. Grade three lineup could change a little bit. But again, it's what I'm working with and what I have. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's look at the grade two lineup. Starting off in our grade two lineup, we have Extreme Battler, uh, Sans Dara. I can't really pronounce that. But essentially his skill is, when, when this unit stands due to an effect from a card, this gets plus 5k. This is really powerful, especially since I combo it with a Cool Hank and other units that just constantly are standing. So... Another unit in this deck, when a unit in front of it stands, you give it and another rear guard plus 4k. So, this is constantly getting 9k every time it stands. So, attack, stand, attack, stand. Um, another good unit, if you're not if you're not able to get Cool Hank out, is Extreme Battler Al Albro. Skill is Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 when this is placed on rear. If you have a Victor... If you have a Vanguard with Victor in its name, you may pay the cost if you do. This unit gets plus 2k, and whenever an attack, whenever this unit attacks a Vanguard, choose one of your other rear guards and stand it. And until end of turn, this gets plus 5k. So essentially, you get an, a consistent reattacking Vanguard, and I actually like running Cool Hank, which is the next unit I'm going to go over, and the starter behind each other. Because you attack with Cool Hank, or you attack with him first. Doesn't really matter. You could attack with Cool Hank and choose a rear guard to retire. And then you attack with this unit. And you choose you choose Cool Hank, stand him, attack with Cool Hank, counter blast one, stand him, attack. Again, so you get quite a bit of power, and Cool Hank is, counter, is Amber Clone. So Counter Blast 1, when it's boosted by a rear guard, choose another one of your rear guards, stand it. Uh, and you can you, and you can only use this ability once per turn, so it's essentially, you know... Most of the skills in this deck are once per turn. Actually, most Ambers are once per turn as well. So yeah, that is the Grade 2 lineup. Or not yet, I have one more that, you know, I run as filler for the grade 2 lineup, which is Starlight Hedgehog. When it's placed on van or rear, choose one of your rear guards and stand it. When this unit stands due to an, or choose one of your other rear guards and it gets, when this unit stands due to an effect from one of your cards, draw a card, choose a card in your jam zone, turn to face up. And the skill can only use be once per turn. That's the grade 2 lineup. Again, this is just sort of filler. I can easily replace this with another cool Hank. Whew. It's been a while since I've done a deck profile on the channel. I'm running three copies of Milwaukee. So this is you know I was talking about earlier, GB1, when you have a Victor Vanguard. Uh, every time a unit in front of it stands, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Victor in its name, when, this, when a, every unit in the column is this, Gets um or every rear guard I think it is. If you have a vanguard in the same column, uh, all of their units in the same column as this get auto vanguard rush. When this unit stands due to an effect, choose a card uh due to an effect from one of your cards until end of turn. This unit gets uh, auto skill. When this unit attacks the vanguard, choose one of two of your other units and they get plus two k. 
So, good unit, especially with the restanding decks that can restand quite a bit. Um, it's essentially giving 4k to columns all the time. Uh, again, I've seen some pretty impressive restanding attacks. I wanted to do this video before, um, what's it called? Uh, the new Victor stuff comes out. Uh, next we got Clay Doll Mechanic. Uh, when it's placed on weird, discard a card, draw a card. Yep. Or no, choose a card from your damage zone and turn face up. That's why I run it. Never mind. Wrong card. So, a lot of, this deck consumes a lot of counterblast. So, I run two Clay Dolls to fix that. And I run, also on top of that, four Battle Lady Cyclones and Victor Stride Fodder. So, gets two for Stride, search for Victor. And Perfect Guard, if a copy of it's in the drop zone, stand, uh, counter charge one. That's essentially all those do. Okay, and last but not least in this video, trying to keep it as short as possible, we got the grade 1 lineup. So we got the uh, critical clone, 5,000 to Vanguard when it attacks, send a soul, draw a card. We got an extreme battler, um, critical, because I like having criticals in the deck. We're running four red lightnings. So, Red Lightning skill is when this unit's, uh, put this unit to soul. If you have an Overgraph or Vanguard, choose a card in your damage zone, turn it face up. Again, deck eats a lot of counterblast. So, we fix that problem. Four Vanilla Heals. Of Ring Girl, uh, AI. I like AI personally. I like the artwork of it. And last but not least, we're running six stand triggers, three perfect reference 2.9. So skill is choose one card, choose one of your other units, and it gets the rush ability when the stands due to an effect from a card. Until end of turn, this unit gets auto rearguard when this unit attacks the vanguard, gets plus 5k until end of battle. Return this card, and then return it to deck and shuffle. So it's good because you can give your columns skills like okay so you can give him the ability to give 5k when he stands and since he's in front of units that are constantly standing i.e a vanguard your rear guards he's going to get 5k give it to any of the grade two rears any of the grade three rears it's just gonna f it's not going to be a fun day for someone else okay so we run three copies of him along with three copies of energy girl which is her. I hope I'm... This is a new setup for deck profiling, so I'm hoping it works. At the end of battle that this unit attacked... Uh, at the end of battle that this unit boosted, choose one of your rear guards. You may stand it. If you do, return this card to deck and shuffle. Again, this is good because everything stands in the deck. And you're, and you're recycling your stand triggers in the deck. So, combo this... Or rush ability. You give it to a rear guard. It gets it stands up, and then you boost with this. You stand that same rear guard again. It's getting another 5k. And you can even use this as the booster to cool Hank. So you stand the front unit and you stand the rear and attack again. And then since you're shuffling your stand triggers back into the deck, your triple drive has a higher chance of revealing your stand triggers. And that's why I don't run four copies of each of these, and I run so many other criticals. It's because, well, I have no way to really shuffle the criticals back into the deck. So, I'd probably replace the vanilla in one red lightning, just because I don't need th the over amount of countercharging in the deck. Again, I was working with what I have at the time. With two more copies of him, just so I have some draw power. Because this deck, other than its drive checking, doesn't have a lot of drive power. And that is the Nova... Oh, well, I really didn't tell you the effect of Victor, but... Which is my bad. Because I was just sort of so hyped on showing off the deck. So, I'll do this really quickly. 
I feel bad again. So Victor skill is when this unit, uh... When this unit, it's GB2, is when this unit attacks the vanguard, it gets plus 5k until end of battle. Choose a rearguard stand, it gets plus 5k. It's stride skills during your turn when your G unit... During your turn when a G unit strides, choose one of your vanguards and it gets... Auto Vanguard Counterblast One. When the when your when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your rear guards, stand it. This unit gets plus five k until end turn. So again, this deck is all about counterblasting and standing your rears. It can be very powerful and will consume. It will eat all of its counterblasts in a single turn, so what you do during your main phase is a lot of calling to countercharge. And yeah, deck this deck is easily beat by Time Leap, and well, everything's beat by Time Leap now. Uh, Time Leap can beat it, Link Joker's pretty strong against it, but this deck has a lot of power in my personal opinion, and I like playing it. So yeah, this is my Extreme Battler build of my Novas. I really do enjoy playing them. So thank you all for watching. I've been Silver with Extreme Battlers, and have a fantastic day.